In magic, many things happen that are not intended. But I didn't do anything. I was just passing by and saw some people walking into a restricted zone. I didn't I didn't even know they were undead or whatever. Oh, Dad, I need your help. They called him a death gazer. Counselor Alfred, is she tasting that rock? She is utilizing witchcraft, Mr. Grace. Did I not ask for silence? It's been two years hey, since I've seen her. Hey, what's the big idea? You don't have to be so rough. Oh, Headmaster Alfred. Lady Akron? Lovely to see you both. In the... Dungeons? In magic, many things happen that are not intended. Would your dad really turn me into a turtle? What? No. My mom might. But not dad. He's just pretending to be some big scary mage so you'd know he was serious. I mean, he could, but he won't. Rylan, are you sure we're looking in the right place? I'm not finding any mention of a necromancer. I'm certain. Archmage Alfred said it would be in section C of the Forbidden Scrolls. I didn't even know we had Forbidden Scrolls. I didn't even know we had a library. Well, aside from the account your father gave us of the necromancer your parents killed, there's no mention of it. Wait, here! I found it! What, really? Well, not like a name or anything, but mention of a spell that seems to create a necromancer. Wait, what do you mean create a necromancer? I thought it was like inborn ability or something. Or like, you learn a bunch of spells and then you just become one. Wait a second, Rylan. These spells hint at illusion magic. What? Really? Ow! Scooch! Get off, Storm! Wow, these are highly intricate spells. Like, it would take some serious power to cast these spells. Way beyond the level of anyone here. Maybe aside from your dad. Wait, so you're saying we aren't looking for a necromancer at all now? It's a possibility that we could be simply looking for an illusionist. But Queen Adrillion said she sensed necromantic magic when she, your father, and I were examining the body we found. I don't think your mother is the type of woman to make this sort of mistake. Well, she's made more than one mistake in her life. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh? Uh -oh? This spell. It has a reality clause. A what? It's an advanced illusionary magical practice. A banned practice. But what does it do? It makes an illusion into reality. It causes the illusion to take physical form, to pull the very fabric of the stuff of the universe. 
and it turns it into whatever you can think of. For real. That sounds like the architect's powers. Well, it's different semantically, but it's a good comparison. The difference is the reality clause requires... Well, souls. The bigger the illusion, the larger the amount of souls. So, what does it mean? It means we might be looking for someone who has used a reality clause to create a necromancer. But how did they do that in the first place? The reality clause itself requires a large amount of souls to cast in the first place. And there hasn't been a large number of random deaths at all. The Cataclysm. The magician we're looking for used the Cataclysm. A perfect diversion to cast a spell requiring a large amount of death without being caught. Then he or she sat in waiting until the new world was found. So, they made a necromancer in the old world? But the council mages would have sensed that. At least Aquin's parents would have. I don't know, Storm. You said it yourself. It takes a master of illusion magic to even cast reality claws. So, we are looking for a necromancer who is being hidden by a master illusionist. Great. Couldn't be easier. So what do we do, though? We start seeking treasure, Master Storm. The Monocle of St. Kit. I just really don't like this grumpy guy, and... Oh! Am I live? Oh. Hi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hootigans, and welcome home. And uh, firstly, I would like to thank our voice actors as usual. So we had another episode of Arcanus. And so we got to hear, uh, let's see, Champ Creates as Lady Akron. We got to hear Dom Ratana as Rylan Grace. And we got to hear Storm as Student Storm again. And you guys also got something a little bit new. Um, I'm going to try out. So let me know how that went with the previously on home type of deal. Um, I had a couple of people say that it was a little bit rough sometimes to like keep up with a story And so what I'm gonna try doing now for the episodes of home um, Not for just the stories from home um, But the episodes try to do a little bit of a recap of the last thing that happened on that kingdom um, So that's gonna help out a lot on being able to get you guys kind of like back into the flow of things um so guys, tonight, tonight, we're going to take a look a little bit around the server, and uh, I am actually joined by a friend again, and I believe he's like somewhere around Sanctuary, around here, I think I saw him go in the tower, and I think some of you guys will know him, I think, maybe, wait, I saw somebody over here, hold on, let's go to the right, oh, am I going to be chasing this person? It's gonna be, oh, wait, wait, there Ooh. he is. Oh, no, 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 get back here. What? It's a brownie bits. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, brownie. What's up, Doug? How are you? Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. What's up? Uh, a ceiling is actually up in here. Well, no, dark oak stairs. Dark oak Upside stairs. Down, yes. Dark oak stairs are exactly up right now. Yes, that is exactly up. So, guys, <laughs> if you guys don't know Brownie Bits, um, he's actually been around the channel for a good long while now. Um, I had done how many? I've done one of your video style videos, but we've also like yes. been around each other, I guess, more um, than anything, Twitter and all sorts of stuff. Um, Absolutely. And I've been watching this series for since it started, and been a fan of this series. <laughs> and now you are officially building on the series, so yes. Ooh, yes. Well, you haven't really built anything yet, but you'll get there. <laughs> Just kind of played around, kind of looked around. I, I helped Knight do some texture variation for his his uh, little path. That Helio. is true. That is true. Um, so okay, Bronny, we've got a mission tonight. Um, we've got okay. a couple of things that I'm gonna go over. Uh, so just to let you guys know, we're gonna like there's a lot that's happening, and I'm going to be doing building on camera. I promise you, uh, eventually. Um, but I'm trying to introduce you guys a little bit to the builders that are on here as well. So you guys got to meet Tim last time, uh, T4E, and now you guys are getting to meet Brownie Bits. And I want to try to eventually go through everybody um, with different episodes, like here and there in between, because uh, it's going to be a lot harder to get some people to do like an episode time wise. Um, um, but first of all, I added some more people to the, uh, this is kind of, if I'm sure you've noticed this already, cause you've probably been in this room a million times. Um, but yeah, this is where like my voice actors are. 
So I've added some more people onto here, like I have Storm playing Student Storm, uh, Dom's been added, uh, let's see, we've got over here, we've got Champ Creates, uh, Sandman playing Inspector, Grimsley, Klatos has his second sign playing the Dancing Cat, and then uh, Mighty Pen Pen is playing the uh, Lonely Widow, and I'm still adding them, uh, just to let you guys know, but like this is where it like all began, so this is like all the first little bits, and then it came around here, what are we doing, 8, 16, I know we've got more than this because I haven't put them all down um so what 24 here and then 25 26 27 and I guarantee you I've got at least eight or nine more um to add on to there and then we also just intro we sent the scripts for harvest episode two out today and so that will be introducing three new people um, yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> so, I, uh, I was told today that there is a surprise build in Scorn. Uh, for those of you who do not know, um, so when this video comes out to the patrons, the homies, by the way, th those are the official homies, um, because you guys have been asking for that name to be used forever. So if you are a patron of the home server, you may be a homie. And uh, we have a couple of patrons already, and uh, all that information is down below. Um, you guys can join up. There's lots of cool things you guys can get for the home server. Like, you can get your own stories from home, you can get your own village built, you can get your own house, all that other stuff. Um, so, there's a bunch of things there. But, I was told that uh, Foxy Minoxide left me something in scorn, because... When the patrons, like I said, see this video, it will be my birthday. So that will be tomorrow from the night that we're doing it. We're doing it on the 12th, the 13th is my birthday, and then this will be public release on the 14th. So all of my patrons get a home, ep get their home episodes a day early. So I'm a little... Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Brownie. Um, <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> Let's go find out what's going on in here. Okay, I don't see anything. To oh my Jesus. <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, this is interesting. It's a goose. Of course it's a goose. <laughs> so, for those of you who do not know, there is a running joke between myself and Sunfire SG, who is one of the writers on here, um, that I... He insists I love geese. <laughs> I can't get over this goose. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, yeah, I hate geese. Geese are the devil. Um, they are. Um, they're terrible. But wait, is there something? <laughs> oh man, is it a? Ch she was waiting. It's just chickens that are all named Happy Birthday. They're all named Happy Birthday. Yes. I wonder if I should like. Is there a button I should push? I don't. I don't see any button. Like if this thing has like a bunch of TNT under it or something, maybe. I don't know. That would be. That's that. That should be done. Um. So, <laughs> Brownie ruined the moment. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> Yay! We'll let all the happy birthday chickens out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. There's a running joke that I am a fan of geese. I hate geese. They are the devil. They are the worst animal to ever exist on the planet. They are just not any fun. And uh, yeah. They're just. They're. They're terrible. They poop too much and they bite and they're loud and they're obnoxious and foxy thank you this was freaking awesome look at all these happy birthday <laughs> all the happy birthday chickens <laughs> oh i love this i hope there's not like <laughs> 10 of them in scorn oh my god that's gonna be okay no scorn looks safe as safe as scorn can look anyway <laughs> <laughs> Scorn is not a very safe place. Um, well, thank you so much, Foxy. Uh, we will make sure to um, properly roast this. Uh, well, actually, she's vegan. We'll let it fly off into the distance. <laughs> You'll never see it again, Foxy. It will have flown off to join its family somewhere off in that way. Um, okay, let's go back to Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Brownie, tell us a little bit about you as well, and we're going to head off to uh, Harvest while we do that. Um, well, I am a very sugary, sugar, sugary? Uh, <laughs> delicious treat. Yes. Wait, where are we going? Harvest. Oh. <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm on the page now. But I am, I am, uh, I, I do stuff on YouTubes. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
uh, I I really like the whole like lore, the whole story base. Um, ooh, that's really cool. Which one? Sorry. Um, I, I I'm just admiring the pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's just admiring the textures. Of, I, I don't I don't get a lot of chances to uh, actually look at the the textures because I'm I'm usually in mine which there's a few things that I've changed myself. But uh, yes, yeah, so you are on the YouTube's. I built this. I'm so proud of this. This Ooh. is uh this is gonna be some more of the Hobbit homes. We're gonna put a bunch of those in here. And then Willow actually built this one over here, so he did a good job. Yeah, there's nothing in it right now. I'm just working on the outside. Well, it's it's my home. <laughs> it's your home. It's mine. Mine. That's yours. Don't change. Don't change the interior. That's how I like it. <laughs> I just like a small cave with two or three blocks <laughs> to walk around in. <laughs> so I um, don't. I, I don't do any. <laughs> Goodness. Um, but Brownie is going to be uh, going to be live streaming from the server. So you have actually done one live stream already. Um, and then you are one of our newest builders. So and then our newest builder I introduced actually uh, yesterday and today. Um, that is Night Thirteen, who is somebody that you know very well as well. Yes. yes. So, um, so that speaks highly of him already. So, the reason we came out to harvest, have you been this direction yet? Like, have you been over here? I kind of looked around it in the stream yesterday. Okay. Um, Wait, so. Okay, so we're gonna. um, I wanna go over to the harbor first, because I have not seen this. I haven't seen anything in this harbor yet. Um, I love this. This is amazing. Look at this little. This is the best tunnel I've ever seen. Right here. Oh, yes, yes. This should be left as is now. (laughs) This is gonna be cool. This is yes. This was one of my favorite parts. Well, I think the um, no, I think the plan is like a lot of this is going to be like retaining wall, possibly maybe, and then like this is going to be the harbor. So like you're, I think the concept is that you're going to have all these buildings, and then you're going to have like a bunch of other buildings and stuff like that behind it. But like you're only going to be able to access the inner part of the harbor via water or through these tunnels and I really like that I like when there's a dynamic change in the actual uh, like the landscape I guess absolutely um, but this is so cool this is um, okay so this is Avalar who's been doing a lot of this Avalar and I think Willow has been doing a little bit over here as well um, so this is going to be our harbor and I think this is meant to extend as well um, however far we want it to go like down this direction um, but yeah, we're gonna have a bunch of little warehouses and a bunch of little like buildings for like uh, customs and things like that. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'm really hoping, uh, especially with Avalar and Tim, who are heading up Harvest, they are very realistic builders. They exist in that whole realism feel where like, okay, well, you have a you have this harbor so it's basically a port and it's for trade so you're gonna need weights and you're gonna need like loading areas and like all that stuff like i'm really excited to see what they end up doing with that um but there is a even crazier stuff happening if we follow this road so um we have quite a little bit to travel so you want to uh you want to you want to give the give the people something let them know what's going on with like home why you're here things like that wait wait, way did you go (laughs) i'm over here sorry i was trying to follow you and then you popped oh oh, uh, uh, (laughs) (laughs) okay so let the people know why you're here brownie why are you here brownie I don't, I don't know. I just, somebody <laughs> took me out of an oven and it was just kind of here. So now I'm doing stuff. Yeah. No. Um, actually I have, I, so basically, uh, you were, uh, if I wanted to kind of build on here and absolutely I do, <laughs> um, I don't, I don't have any plans. Uh, like I, I think I was discussing this with you, um, as well, but I think what I'm do- going to be doing is just kind of hopping from place to place until I've find something to do like myself my own little projects kind of deal that's that's pretty much how i build on the server as well we have all (laughs) of these things going on and i have these like i have like 15 projects i'm working on right now and they're all in different places and it's just one place to another one place to another this is such a long way i didn't realize how like where they were placing this when they did 
<laughs> I love it, but it's gonna we're gonna have to fill in some stuff around here and just kind of figure out like because I guess the whole concept is that that part of harvest is going to be like the country. And then this is going to be kind of like out here we're gonna see they're going to build like a town proper. Um, my only worry I have with that, which this is going to be freaking amazing when I show you, um, I need to find out how far the ocean is. Okay, it's right here. So this may require another small harbor. I don't know. Like, but, like, we could do something different with it, with the town. I don't know. Like, we're all going to have to brainstorm and figure out. Um, because I am a little weird where, like, the harbor's way over there, but then, like, the main city is here. Um. Yeah. But... We'll figure it out, it's not a problem. So check all this stuff out going on. So first of all, this thing, because it just jumps out at you. Like, this- Oh, ugh. this is incredible. <laughs> I love this. Um, this is Tim, who went ahead and did this. Uh, that's T4E for you guys who are going to browse the YouTubes and whatnot. Um, he'll be down listed in the writer as well. Um, he's the writer for Harvest. Check that clock. That is so awesome. I love that thing. That is one of the best <laughs> clocks I've ever seen on a it's building. Beautiful. And you can play and with then... it. <laughs> like, you can just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit a button. Oh man, I messed it up. Oh no, you broke it. <laughs> I broke it, Tim. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tim. I broke it. Brownie will fix it for me. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh wait, no, it's because I pushed this button. Oh, dang it. <laughs> wait, there it goes. Wait, is this like a, is this like a puzzle clock? <laughs> like. I no, I think I think there's something in there that's powering that. Uh, uh, uh. Also, the <laughs> fact that he he used uh, shulker boxes. Oh, I know. I want to start utilizing this. So we're in creative, so it's not a big deal. Like if you were in survival, I would never <laughs> tell you to do this. Um, but yeah, these shulker boxes—they make fantastic like walls. Look at this. Like that is so good. I love that so much. Um, Tim showed me that, and I was just like, "What are you doing?" But it looks fantastic. Um, and then the shape of this thing is so cool. And then I'm really excited about like whatever is going to be happening down here, in these little uh, these little like nooks and crannies all over the place. I think is going to oh, be yeah. really, really, really cool. Um, Absolutely. And then I don't think he's done anything inside yet. Yeah, it's just a. Uh, just a normal little space and whatnot. And then uh, Avalar is out here doing this crazy, crazy horse statue, which I am super thrilled at. Um, so he said this is his rough draft of this. Um, rough draft. Get it? Draft horse. Oh. Get it? Oh. Oh, uh -huh. I know. Uh -huh. I know. <laughs> I didn't get it at first, but now I do. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, so this is his rough draft. Um, I think the idea we want to do is we want to put this up on some kind of a pedestal i think he's like this was his kind of testing out things but like i think we're doing like one of these like where you put down you know a box or whatever and then like uh we'll have to do this in a three um but like you know horse statue goes here and there it's raised up on things um this is a really stupid way to show you guys that um but yeah, like, this horse statue is going to be, like, up on a raised dais, and the horse is really cool because the horse race is the important big thing going on with, um, with Harvest. So, it's a land grab, there's a big horse race, that's where our main character falls into, so the horse statue is going to be a really cool centerpiece, because, like, all of this is going to be surrounded with, like, row houses and just really cool-looking little builds, um... And then uh, Willow has been over here building some little houses, so this will get incorporated into the city. Uh, I know they plan on coming out here and doing, like, laying out the roads and the square and stuff like that, so this is going to be really cool to see all this incorporated in. He's trying to do some, uh, he's doing some diagonal houses out here. He's doing pretty good. Yeah, there are some crazy stuff going on over here. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it reminds me a lot of, uh, there's a Willow. Wait, there's a Willow. Yeah, there's a Willow. Um, yeah, there's a Willow. There's a Willow. <laughs> Hi, Willow. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it reminds me a lot of what's happening in Valenthian right now, um, with, uh, Vitargar doing all of those amazing diagonal houses out there so mm -hmm. it's really really cool I love it I love yes. everything um, okay tell me your thoughts on harvest because that's pretty um, pretty much where we're concentrating today yeah they this was like the first place that we came out here and looked uh, yesterday on stream and the whole concept of it I love um, 
and I really, I, I really would love to, to see some of these, uh, these roads come through because it, I, I would absolutely love to build, you know, a couple houses here and there. Um, but the diagonals are a beautiful thought, especially like right around this, this town center. Um, I think it's just a beautiful idea. So. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, and definitely doing, um, doing that. And I would love to see eventually to, uh, a little bit of elevation change. Um, it's something that I've noticed that in these, uh, who taught me this was Ninny, um, from my time in Boston. Um, he does these like little subtle elevation changes, like in the middle of the town, like you'll just be walking around and then very suddenly you'll be down two blocks. And yeah. you just kind of won't notice, but like it just happens and it feels natural. And mm -hmm. like, cause like the big flat area is always really easy to build on. But like, if you go around and you consider like, you know, this, like maybe right here, like in between these two buildings, like if this was like dropped down like an extra block and then you had to, you know, at that point then over here, like next to Willow's little house over here, like you would then be seeing more of this house. So then you're gonna be having to do things like putting in like, you know, walls on the bottom section like that, but it's all gonna be down here. But then you come back into the town square and the town square is raised up to this level and it's just a really, it's a really small thing to do. Um, especially with like world edit we can I can literally just remove a section of you know like the entire land right here um, but yeah, it just adds absolutely. a little bit of something extra and if you if you look at like different cities um, around like IRL they uh, they have those little nation changes because when they built the city they didn't just level an entire area what they Unless you're Disney. <laughs> Unless you're Disney, but <laughs> right. we're not counting Disney because Disney is its own insane thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, use the hills and the, the different stuff, uh, the different elevation changes um, it, it, where they decided to build the town. Like I remember there uh, in the town I grew up in, the town that I still to this day consider my, my home town. Um, there was basically where the parks were was a lot lower than the rest of the town and basically we had this really large hill that went down at to the level of the parks and then came everything else was basically up high it was just this one little area in the middle of town that was just really far down um and the rest of the town was up at the you know regular height but yeah it was it's it's one of those things where you're going changes you're going to see small hills kind of develop and uh building around is uh it, it definitely adds a lot to the to the building and i think that's uh i think that's planned here i think they want to do the actual elevations and stuff like all laid out like actual landscapes um we are gonna run out of time here in a minute but um i wanted to showcase this bridge too that willow did yes. um this thing is crazy yeah <laughs> I love it. Well, this is oh. this is modeled after the bridge um, over the first one that Tim built in the entrance to uh, Harvest over there. Um, and he took that model and just kind of went, like, over with it, and it was so good. This is such I a cool it. bridge. I like this bridge this a lot. Is, I'm, I might be stealing some of the ideas uh, <laughs> for for my single player from this because this is this is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> I uh, the, like I love doing uh, Willow as well. Um, doing the switch on the log color, so like this gives your logs a little bit of like a kind of like watery feel. Like, they're actually, like, waterlogged, and that's, like, that always gives, like, a cool little sense of realism toward the bottom of your, uh, stuff in anything that goes into water. I do it on the docks and things like that, too. Um, it's One just a nice One of my favorites things. is doing spruce in the water and dark oaks above water. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's a slight change, but the dark oak wood slightly looks a little bit more dry than what the spruce does right and um, then uh in in like coastal areas like next to the ocean mm -hmm. um i've used oak to do it uh where oak, it looks yeah, like oak the, is a great one yeah. well where it looks it's, like it's, it's dried out yeah mm -hmm. 
Um, but anyway, so Brownie, thank you so much for joining me on this lovely little video. Um, I have a long intro, so this is probably going to be a long episode. But that's okay. We don't mind that. That's that's all right. Um, but Brownie, thank you so much, guys. Check out Brownie down below. Um, down below, we will have actually the updated version of the uh, of all of the links for the builders. Um, so like everybody who's new will be there and everything. So you guys go check that out, and then uh, go check out the Patreon because you guys can get yourself involved like in here as well. And there's lots of cool rewards. And uh, go check out the merchandise as well we are working on a harvest design right now uh rivet is actually going to release sometime soon we just released arcanus and uh please remember that all of the like all of the proceeds that are gained for um for patreon uh that gets split amongst the builders on here so once we hit a certain amount on the patreon that all gets split up amongst the builders and like people involved like the artists and stuff um the merchandise is split between myself and the writers uh so just to let you guys know it is not just all for me it is spread out amongst everybody so anything you can do to help there helps me help these guys and i'm i'm happy to do that so brownie Thank you for joining me. I wish I could knock you off of there so bad. Uh, and uh, you guys will see more Brownie. Um, like I said, he is live streaming on Twitch. So we will link his Twitch channel down below. And uh, also Thank his you. YouTube channel as well. Thank so, you. All right. So Brownie, say bye-bye. Give us your outro. Bye. Give, oh, jeez. Give me an outro. Oh. I, you, I, I can do my normal one, which is... Uh, well, I, I've ran out of time for... So... I will be seeing you in the next episode. There you go. Now give my outro. Bye bye. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually don't remember your outro. <laughs> <laughs>